From a controversial tweet to erasing it, apologizing for it, and now deleting his Twitter account. Sheriff Mike Boudreau taking a lot of heat this week. Is his apology enough? And that's where we begin round two with our panel this week. Let's welcome back DeAngelique Jackson and Jarris Lee Jackson. And uh, DeAngelique, I want to begin with you on this. Sheriff Mike Boudreau's apology, was it enough or is his tweet not repairable in your opinion? I, I, I don't think that I, I personally, if that were my sheriff who said that, I, that's not something that I'm I'm seeing as repairable. That's something that I'm seeing as grounds for replacement because you're, you're not, you can't just come back from saying that um, people are, if you're depending on the police, don't call them to then turn back and saying we are here and we service everybody. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. Jaris Lee, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, we have to do, we have to remember that this was a tweet. It wasn't written on, you know, Tulare County stationery. It's not an actual directive. Um, and I think we're just going to be honest with yourself. If you spit in the face of the police, you call them pigs, always something negative to say about them. Yeah, I might take the scenic route on the way to your home. Now, obviously, obviously, your support of the police, skin color, political position, these are all things that cannot be determinative in the police coming to your home. But the idea that he was maybe just voicing this frustration, which everyone from people on the street to police officers have right now, I, I really didn't see a problem with it. He should do that off of a professional account then, because at the time he's representing the Tulare Police Department. Um, so personal opinions, please have them, just not when you're on business or taxpayer dollar time. Uh, I want to move on to this because uh, obviously we didn't get to it in the first panel, but Fresno police, um, obviously we've seen some things in the past uh, where officers uh, have shown um, unusual force, excessive force. There's been lawsuits against the Fresno Police Department, as we know. Uh, Jaris Lee, I'll start with you here. If you were to be pulled over by a Fresno police officer, do you feel comfortable? Do you trust them? Absolutely, 110%. And in fact, I actually wanted, if you have two seconds, um, statistically speaking in this country, if you are a black man, you are still more likely to be shot or killed by another black individual. These statistics actually <laughs> from the FBI. From the FBI. Oh my goodness. In 2018, where the homicide victim was black, the suspected killer was black 88% of the time. In fact, from 1976 to 2005, 94% of black victims were killed by other black Americans. Now, for some reason, don't ask me, there'll never be a protest for those people. Well, there'll never be a protest officer for the police <laughs> officer who was killed protecting a minority small business. Um, for some reason, they never get the time of day. But in this country, the fact of the matter still remains, if you are black, you are more likely to be killed Jerry by Slate. another black Jerry man. Slate, can, can I, I ask you a question? Where did you get your numbers? Can I respond? Okay, where, I, the FBI. The, the FBI. FBI. Okay, I didn't hear you. Okay, DeAngeli, go ahead. The FBI. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so um, first off, with, with your statistics, this, this is absolutely a problem. Black on black crime is a problem. And I'm not sure why you're coming at me as if I'm saying that it's not a problem. Um, I think that killing and, and death is, is absolutely a problem all around. Um, and then I, I think in terms of just black on black crime, I personally take the perspective that any type of crime is absolutely rooted in white supremacy and in this uh, patriarchal establishment that we operate in. Um, I also believe that my, minority police department, or minority police officers, black police officers killing black people, killing other people of color is still wrong. And once again, it's a product of the, of the system that we are in. When you're taking classes in criminology in, in college, I know because criminology is my minor, when you're in the police department, they're training you to be afraid of black people. They're training you to be afraid of people of color. Automatically, you're put on edge for that. Um, right. We, hey, we could talk offline. I could show it to you. Either way, immediately response. Immediate response. There's so many statistics that show you anybody is going to have an immediate reaction to seeing black kids, black right. skin let me, than they are to seeing other let me, things. Let me, it's an all-around issue. Let me. Yeah, we the, got the, we got 45 the, seconds, Jerris Lee. We got 45 seconds, and I want to get this in. This is important. Uh, there has been controversy with Mayor-elect Jerry Dyer. Some believe handling this crisis. He is the right man. Pastor Binion believes and is encouraged that he is the right man. Dr. Floyd Harris does not believe Mayor-elect Jerry Dyer is the right man to handle this crisis. Jerris Lee, is Mayor-elect Jerry Dyer the right mayor at this time, a former police chief, to handle a crisis like this? 
Absolutely. Like you said, a former police chief, he has years of experience uh, in the community, on the police force. And I think that Fresno is going to be a lot better off with him rather than the opportunistic wannabe politician that he was running against. D'Angelique, so we got 20 seconds. Go ahead. I look forward to having a conversation with Jerry Dyer. That man should absolutely not be mayor. He has no no one's intentions in mind but his own. So um, I think the fact he, he's going to have to show us a lot different, uh, but absolutely not. He's not for the people in one bit. Should, real quick, five seconds each. Should he have marched in the um, protest no. on Sunday? No. He absolutely. was not allowed to be there. No, he was not allowed to be there. Why was he allowed he to be there? He was not allowed to be sent. We sent a message and we let him know he was not allowed to be there. We oh. sent one to the police chief as well. We, we did not want that to happen. We okay. wanted it to be completely peaceful and focused on black people and our issues. Got issues. It. We did Got not it. want to talk about anything else, focus on anyone else. Got it. Okay. Jairus Lee, DeAndre Lee, thank you so much for being with me. we got to cut it there. I appreciate your time. We're both going to have you back uh, uh, on this show, and we, we thank you for your commentary and your beliefs and everything that goes into it. Please continue to be our leaders of tomorrow. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Well, coming up, how the death of George Floyd is sparking another conversation in our schools.